Hey guys, what's going on? Potter Pop Hunter here coming at you with another unboxing video. Today I have a mystery box from Spastic Pops. This was one of their $49.99 boxes, which was the hunt for the cereal icons. Um, in this one, the top pull, I believe, was Toucan Sam. Um, they also had, I believe, Yummy Mummy, um, and then um, one of the other monster cereals. Um, so hopefully for um, this box, we get something good. I believe these were guaranteed value, so hopefully we'll get our value back on these and then pull something really nice out of a mystery box from Spastic Pops. Um, ordered a few things from them in the past, so I'm excited. I don't think I've ever been disappointed with what I've pulled out of their boxes, so let's take a look and see if they delivered again. Um, one thing to mention, make sure that if you want to see future content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll see future videos as I post them. Um, hit the bell notification to be notified when... Um, say for instance, I do a live stream or when I do a unboxing video or a new video is posted. Also, please hit the like button if you enjoy the content. But with that, let's go ahead and open up this box. So haven't had a mystery box in a while. Um, and like I said, I'm still kind of haven't ever pulled like anything really, really good or I would consider a really good grail out of a mystery box. So hopefully our luck has changed. Ooh, and we already have a spastic sticker that is coming out of the box, so this is pretty cool. I will add that to my sticker collection. And I can see already that there are four pops in the box, and it's covered with bubble bubble um, wrap. And I don't want to see what it is, so I'll try to pull them each individually. So I feel one in a protector... Feel one in a protector, so that must be the top pull out of this one. So I'll put these off to the side and I'll pull one at a time so that we can see what we get. Um, so my first one out of the four is uh, Captain Crunch. This one's actually pretty cool. This is the Target exclusive. I do not have this one in my collection, um, so I'm glad I pulled this one out of a mystery box. I have the regular Captain Crunch, but um, you can see here he's holding his bowl of cereal and the spoon, so... Um, here is a close-up on the box of Captain Crunch. So, so far, I'm not sure of the value, I'll put that up on the screen, uh, but so far, this one, I am um, happy so far with what we got. Um, so the next one we have is... We have Watto from Star Wars. This is the 2019 Galactic Convention exclusive. Um, so he is number 298 in the set. I don't can I don't collect Star Wars pops, but um, Watto is pretty cool. Um, so he was from the Star Wars convention from this past year. So that one is pretty cool as well. Probably will trade that one, or if anybody's looking for that one, let me know. Um, I'd be willing to do a trade um, or sell that one. Next one we have is, and we have Venomized Captain Captain America number three sixty four um, in the looks like in the Venom line. I would say I don't collect uh, Marvel Pops, but I would say if there was one that I would keep in my collection, it would be this guy, because uh, he is pretty cool. I do really enjoy this version of Captain America and Venom. Um, so he's number 364, and you can see all the other ones they had in this line. Um, I think I had Black Panther, uh, Venomized Black Panther at one time, but I did trade it or sell it to somebody. Um, but here are the other ones that come in this set. Um, but I thought um, this Captain America one is pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the bobbleheads, but um, if I had to pull one, this one would be the one that I would be interested in. Um, I'm not sure on value. I think he was up in the 30s at one point in time. not sure if he's still there yet. But let's go ahead and take a look at the last pop in here. Um, this one is the one in a protector. I'm just trying to get it so I can show you guys the front right away. And our big pull from this box is, uh, we have Missande from um, this year's um, uh, New York Comic Con. So here is the Fall Convention exclusive. Um, I believe this is the shared sticker, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we have Missande from Game of Thrones, number 77. Um, so here is her box. Um, and I only had a couple of the Game of Thrones pops, and I actually traded them away just because there were so many of them in the line. Um, thought I probably wasn't ever going to pick this, uh, pick the whole setup, but this one is pretty neat. 
Um, so again, this is the Fall Convention exclusive Missande from um, Game of Thrones. So let's go ahead and take these guys out of the box and take a little bit closer look. All right, and I did check the value on these pops, um, and I can't say I'm disappointed with these. Um, I did check um, both price Pop Price Guide and the Funko app, and um, both came out to be where I expected them to be. Um, so in order from least to greatest, we have Captain Crunch, the Target exclusive, is $10. Um, the Watto is $10. Um, Venomized Captain America is $11. And then the shared version of Missande uh, is $25, which was shared with Barnes & Noble. Um, the Funko app only has one price for both stickers, which has it at $40. Um, but with Pop Price Guide, they actually break it out to have the shared convention sticker. Um, so that one is kind of cool. So we have the 25 on that one. So for total, we got $56 in value back out of the Spastic Pops mystery box. Um, so definitely can't complain about the value. Um, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at these pops um, out of the box. Um, so excited to have, I know for sure, this one in my collection. Um, this one is pretty cool. I do already have one of them. I would like to have some of the other cereal icons. Um, so we didn't get lucky and get a big grail pull, but I'm at least happy that uh, we have pops that we're going to be able to keep in our collection. Um, so here we have Captain Crunch holding his cereal bowl with his spoon, which was the Target exclusive. So that was the first one we pulled, and that one is pretty neat. Um, next, we have Venomized Captain America. And I thought this one was going for quite a bit more than what I pulled it up at. Um, but again, maybe this one was just a common one all along. Don't really collect Marvel, but this one is a pretty cool pop. Um, so I do enjoy the Captain America pops. I did like the movies. Um... And this Venomized version is pretty cool. Um, so there we have Venomized Captain America. Um, so we have that one, and then Captain Crunch. Um, next we have is Watto from Star Wars, which again was the 2019 Galactic Convention exclusive. Um, so this one will be another bobblehead. And we see he is on a base. Uh, he is kind of in a flying pose. So here he is. I do think the Star Wars ones are really cool. There's also a lot of these ones as well. Um, still not a huge fan of the bobbleheads, but uh, again, these ones are pretty neat. They do all have black bases, so uh, definitely it could present a challenge depending on what your space setup is if you're an out-of-box collector for these. Uh, but there is Watto. And the last one we have um, is Missande from Game of Thrones. Um, I did like her character in the series, um, so I won't have any spoilers. Um, but I'm kind of sad the way that the series ended and the way that her character um, ended up at the end. But here she is. And there's a close-up of her. They did a lot of detail on her hair, so the hair sculpt on her is pretty neat. Uh, there's a close-up of her outfit. So there is Missande from Game of Thrones. I'm kind of surprised she doesn't have a base, um, just because her head is, um, with how much hair she has, she probably could be kind of top-heavy, but I don't know if she will stand on her own, but we will see. Um, but there are the four pops that I pulled out of this mystery box. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of these pulls. Um, I thought they were pretty cool uh, to add a couple things to my collection. Um, let me know what you thought or if you pulled anything neat out of a Spastic Pops uh, mystery box recently. Um, I do have another one that I'll be opening in another video, so hopefully we'll pull something good out of that one too. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.